Alright everyone, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM in a Lenovo laptop. And this is the IdeaPad 330S 15iKB. So this should uh, apply to all or most 330S models, IdeaPads. Um, so let's get started. First, you'll need a small uh, built head screwdriver. One of these to be exact. Start by removing uh, all, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten screws on the back. This is for my model, so. Yours might have a different amount of screws on the back. Doesn't really matter because you gotta remove them all in order to gain access to its internals. So, time to speed this up because it's taking quite a while. That's why we have something called a time lapse. <laughs> Save this for later, you'll need it. So, next step is to uh, remove this panel, okay? It's a little black panel, has three screws, one, two, and three, and you can get to the RAM from there. So, um, screw one right here. Screw two here. Don't lose any of these screws because you will need them later. I like to leave the screws in the screw holes if I can so that I don't lose track if they're different sizes. So one got loose near here. There we go. So there's our old stick of RAM right there. It usually doesn't even come with a stick of RAM. This one has is it eight or was it four gigs, I think. So now you remove there by pulling on those two silver tabs on the side. Put your old stick of RAM aside and get your new stick of RAM. All right, got my new stick of RAM. It's a four gigabyte stick. Now we can have eight gigabytes in this laptop. It'll be a beast of a computer. <laughs> All right, so line it up. Notice that there's a notch on the RAM and one side is larger than the other. Match that up with here. You see that right there, that break? That's where the notch is on the laptop. So now, as I zoom in here, I will show you how to align that. There you go. Now, push down, but don't push too hard, or you could break the computer. Make sure, a little more by that. That's what I do. Now, now that you're done with that, uh, wait, is that supposed to be a GPU if there was one? Tell me in the comments right here. That area there. That's supposed to be a GPU if there was one, because I see places for VRAM and the GPU itself and mounting holes for the cooler. So that looks a bit suspicious to me. Now, uh, anyway, line up this with the, this cover with the laptop. Notice that there are little clips that hold in from the top. Hold it in from the top. There you go, aligned. There is one. Wait, hang on. There's 
another one here. And finally drop that screw in there, pick this one up, put it back. Beautiful. That one too. And finally this one. Tighten all the screws down. And finally do the reverse process of yeah, there were clips all over there. Uh, now I'm gonna zoom out and do the reverse process, of putting this back on. Same way you removed it. There will be clips on the sides that you have to pop in place. And, okay, heard them all click. Now, another time lapse of me putting the screws back in. check how much RAM is actually showing. See if it recognizes my stick of RAM. All right, head to start, head to settings. No, hang on. Control panel, there we go. We're gonna check system security. Uh, and view amount of RAM and processor speed. Eight gigabytes. That is what we want to see. You see that? Do you? Right there, eight gigabytes. So, uh, there you go. I've just upgraded the RAM in my Lenovo IdeaPad 330S. So, uh, thanks for watching. And... I will see you next time. Also, one more thing. Hit that subscribe button, which is over there. And also hit the like button, which is right there, if you enjoyed this video. And also, subscribe even if you didn't enjoy this video, because there will be uh, other videos coming soon that you might like. So, I'll see you next time. <laughs>